And looking at the history, really, back in Texas, you only get some of these categories, you know, category one or twos, every few years over there, Sam. Right, right. It's not as common. Of course, the big one that really comes to mind is Hurricane Harvey. That was very catastrophic yeah. with all the flooding and all these images coming out of the flooding in Houston. Very unfortunate. It reminds me a lot of the damage that Harvey provided. Now, the nice thing is, Brooke, Barrel has really been weakening a lot over the past 24 hours and beyond. It's now a tropical depression, and it's a slow-churning storm across northern Arkansas. Now it is actually going to be uh, quickly jetting its way to the north and east, eventually getting over St. Louis and Indianapolis later on tonight. But uh, we remain on the warmer sector of this uh, whole system. So we're going to be continuing to see a uh, highlighted risk for some tornadoes and damaging wind locally in Kentucky and a level three out of a five of scale of severe weather throughout the afternoon and early evening. Let's get started. We've been quiet in the metro over the past two hours, but right around 1015 to 1020 this morning, there was a complex of storms on the west side of Louisville uh, draped across New Albany and Sellersburg. So again, mainly clipping spots in downtown in points west of I-65. That storm is now up to the north, uh, getting pretty close to Cincinnati. So if you do have travel plans up I-71, it will be a little bumpy of a ride there, especially towards Warsaw. We're expecting to see the rainfall really pick up across our extreme northeastern communities. There's also a couple more showers and rumbles of thunder placed across Breckenridge County and Perry County right now. Nothing severe, but some pretty decent light rainfall with that activity. Here's actually the risk of severe weather levels three and five out of a, or levels two and three out of a scale of five for severe weather. We're going to be watching some areas where there could be some tornado warnings posted. There's also going to be some reports of damage looking possible and some localized flooding. In fact, the flooding and the heightened risk of severe weather is most likely likely across our northwestern spots. Uh, so you can see just north of Louisville that appears to be that risk of an enhanced risk of a tornado later on today. Now here's actually the look at what we're looking at with rainfall. Now some spots easily could be seen about one to two inches of rain anywhere from Jasper towards Seymour and Salem. Never drive through a flooded roadway. The rain's going to be coming down at a really good clip as we take a look at later this afternoon and evening. So again, a little bit closer on future cast. The storms will be popping up on our radar closer to about 3 to 5 p.m. That risk for storms will continue as we take a look at the early evening. Notice around sunset and just after these storms will continue to really impact Interstate 65 before they finally push their way just to the east around midnight up by Cincinnati and points east of our area finally pushing out of here by about midnight. And we're going to be giving way to a rather quiet overnight. A couple of clouds will be passing through, but after midnight it's going to get real uh, just quiet outside in general temperatures this afternoon are only going to or tomorrow afternoon will only be in the lower 80s as we expect a much drier trend to be sticking with us. But a current look at our temperatures real quick along with the chance for storms 70s to the north. We have 80s in full force down to the south and east. You can see the warmer side of barrel giving way to that potential for severe weather later on. There's actually a look about a 15 degree temperature difference from St. Louis all the way towards Nashville so far as we speak. There's your patio forecast though rounds of sunshine kicking into our forecast Thursday and right on into the weekend. In fact, we're going to be back with the dog days of summer right after we deal with Barrel's remnants uh, throughout the course of the day today. Brooke, back to you.